Hi, in this video we're going to be going over how to save an animation video. So basically a video of our avatar moving or walking. In the previous video about videos, we learned how to save turntable videos. So if you missed that, um, I'll link to it right now, but this video is going to be about animation videos. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure we have our garment all finished and how we want it here in our 3D window. And I'm just gonna open up the library and go into my avatar folder. And then whichever version of the avatar that you're using, go into that folder right there. And we're going to go into the motion folder. So I'm gonna double click on that. Here we have all of the motions that come in Clo and any um, custom ones that you've created and added. Um, I'm gonna go to the icon tab and actually, I'm going to make sure I'm in the list um, preview of this because that will give us more of a name of these versus the icon view. So we can tell a little bit more of what they are. And then I'm going to go into our animation mode, which we can get to by clicking on the simulation drop down right here in the top right corner and switching into animation. I'm going to close our object browser and property editor. So we have a little bit more room to work. And this bottom toolbar right here is our animation toolbar now that we're in animation mode. So now I'm going to click on whichever pose that I, or whichever motion that I want to apply to my avatar. And some of these you might not be able to tell what they are um, just by the name. So you might need to get a preview of them. But whenever we're sure of what motion we want to apply or we want to get a preview of one of them, we can double click on it and choose OK. And this is going to put our avatar and our garment at the very beginning of that motion. So right now you see down here in our animation toolbar, we have the transition, and then the motion. The transition is basically the avatar moving from their existing pose into the motion. And what we're doing by adding this motion to our animation toolbar is the recording of the avatar moving this motion. What we need to do still is record our garment doing the motion too around our avatar as they move. But this is what takes a lot longer to record so before you go and record, I recommend getting a preview of the motion, which will only be our avatar moving, which we can do just by adding the motion like we did and clicking the play button. This is only going to move our avatar because we haven't recorded our garment yet, but this can show us what the motion look, looks like. So I'll click play. And you can always stop it whenever you're ready, but that's basically what our motion's going to look like. If I fast forward, they'll twirl around. And then pose. And so if I wanted to choose this motion so I was happy with it, I could always bring this slider back to zero. And now I'm ready to record my motion. So if I wanted to do a different motion, I didn't like this one, I could always click on a different one and apply it, preview it, um, or, or just go ahead and record if I'm happy with it. But you'll want to make sure it's you also preview your motion because it can let you know what your screen needs to look like too, because we're not only recording the garment, but we're also recording our whole screen. So for example, if I were like this on my avatar, and then recorded the motion. My avatar ends up over here, so I might not be getting the best view of my garment that I want because I didn't know where my avatar was going to go. So now that I've previewed the motion, I know that the avatar is going to end up here in the center of our grid. So I'm just going to position my camera the view that I'm looking at the screen with about where I want it. 
I can also make any settings to my environment. For example, um, turning off the ground grid or the 3D shadow or any settings that I want to have for my video. And so once I have my view set up how I want it, I will just click the record button right here. And that's going to frame by frame begin recording our garment on top of our avatar, one frame at a time, and adding that part of our recording. And so this part is going to take a while because it is frame stepping, but this this um, step is required for the lower quality and the higher quality version of our videos also. So this might be something that you wanna do to, um, to get started and then step away from your computer for a little bit because it does take some time. As you can see, it's moving very slowly because we are frame stepping, but each frame is really important for getting a smooth transition to make it look like a video. Um, when it's actually made out of a number of mini images. So I'm just going to let this play out and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, my recording is done. Um, basically, it took about an hour, so just a heads up about the amount of time that can take. So I'm just going to bring my slider all the way back to the beginning. And if we wanted to get a preview of our recording and what it looks like, um, we could change from frame stepping to real time now and click the play button. And this will be kind of a choppy, low quality version of what we've recorded, but it will give you a little bit of a preview of what your garment will look like. You can see if there's any simulation issues, um, like you kind of see right here, some of my garment interacting with the avatar. I didn't record the whole thing. I kind of stopped it right here because it was taking so long. So basically that's what would happen if I stopped the recording too early. Um, so my garment only recorded to here and my avatar continued on. So that's what that means when you see something like that happening. But I'm gonna bring it back to the beginning and how we can save this video and you can always crop it at the part you stopped recording the garment at if you wanted to. Um, we could go to file video capture, and animation. You'll notice if you don't have an animation recorded or you're not in animation mode, it won't let you select animation. So you need to do those before. Then it will give us this pop-up menu right here. We can adjust the pixels, the size. You wanna make sure you have it wide enough for your whole motion. And then we'll click the record button and that's just going to frame step it again. So this is going to take some time, but it's going to be much faster than our initial recording. This is basically just recording the screen. And so whenever it's done, it will give us a pop up menu that our video is saved, but I'm actually going to click stop and cancel that. Then you could get a preview and watch it right here. can see you went from the transition to the beginning of that motion and you could click save if you want to. I'm going to click cancel. And that's how we can save our lower quality version of our animation. Now I'm going to show you how we can save our high quality version, the rendering. And so we need to do um, all of those steps up to the finishing of this recording of our Garmin. And then you'll just want to make sure you move the slider back to the beginning, because whatever pose your avatar is in, um, in your screen right now, is the pose they'll be in when we switch back to simulation mode. So now I'm in simulation mode again, and I'm going to go to our render window. And I'm going to open up the property editor and our image settings right here. This is going to give me the settings that I can adjust to save my video. So I'm going to switch the image slash video settings to animation. And it's going to automatically pull from the animation we just recorded in the animation mode. So I can choose if I want to save multiple colorways or just my current colorway. I can also choose 
if I want the region, um, the entire region to be saved in the video, or just the play region. So basically um, the area that I recorded and choose if I want to save a video um, and save a GIF. If you don't choose to save a video, it's only going to save each image as a PNG file on your computer. So every frame of our animation is one PNG image. Um, but if you choose save video, it will save those images and it will save the video. And then we can choose our image size that we want it to be. So I'm gonna make it extra wide just to make sure we have enough room for our motion since our avatar walks to the side. I can choose a colored background if I would like one. Um, texture or the vignette in the background and then just where our video is saved in the name of it. Once we're happy with those settings, I could turn on interactive render for a second and just see um, how my avatar is positioned in the 3D window uh, because they do start off off to the side for this motion. So I just want to make sure that everything looks good before I start saving those images. It's pretty far back, so I'm just going to zoom in until I feel happy with that space. And then I'll click the stop button. And when I'm happy with all of these settings, I can click the play button to begin my render. One thing with rendering a video like this is it's going to take a very long time because we're saving a lot of images. We're rendering a lot of images, which um, takes a lot of time on our computer, especially with a high quality file or a um, large size file. And this file that I have is pretty, is a pretty decent size file. It's not small. And so that's going to make it take longer also. But if we go into, um, but if we go into our render properties right here, um, there is a setting under finished conditions called max render time. This is saying that the maximum amount of time per image right now is 20 minutes. Typically you want to leave this as it is because it's gonna give you the highest quality render. But for a video like this where our individual images aren't going to matter as much, or if you're okay with a small, small amount of quality reduction, I could move this down to like two minutes per image. And to me, when I do this, it ends up looking about the same. It's really hard to tell a difference in the quality, but it does make those images render faster. And so once we've done that, if you want to do that, you can click the play button to begin the render. And it's going to frame step again, all of those images that we recorded and it's going to save them all individually and then also save the video too. And so this is going to take a very long time. You can see I have 578 renders to go and I didn't even record the whole motion. And so this is going to take a really long time. Um, I would suggest doing it overnight and I would suggest lowering the maximum render time because that is going to speed it up a lot. Um, it's going to work its way through every frame and automatically save them and put them together as a video if you chose to save a video. But I'm going to click stop render right now so it doesn't save all of those images on my computer. And then when you're done with this, you should put this back up to 20 minutes so that it um, it is the higher quality for regular images. But that's how we can save a high quality animation video.